side control. Uh, okay. So look guys, on the bottom, escaping. Elbows in is always a good policy. Keep your elbows in, okay? This arm that is around my neck. The goal in perfect world would be, let's say this was like this, and then I had my hand here. This would be great. So we're gonna start here. This gives us a huge advantage when it comes to escaping because now he doesn't have control of my head. If I have, and remember, I'm not like this. Look at the subtle difference. I'm not, this is not the same. You see what happened? If we said go, he would just put his hand around my neck and now my hand would be like stuck and I'd probably take it out because you know, my, I feel like that's gonna hurt my elbow. So I'm gonna stay in a nice inside tie grip like this. If he tries to grab my neck, go ahead, grab my neck. It's really tough. Now there is options for him to bring his hand to the far side. So he could just say, well, I can't get your neck. I'm gonna go all the way over and he's gonna try to do some, something like that. And we'll go over a system on how to escape when he does that. But for now, we're not doing that. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm kind of keeping you guys in this position. He's gonna, he's gonna put some pressure on me. You notice his right knee also. So right now he chose to sprawl his right leg. Let's talk about that. So say his right leg is sprawled like it is, and he's still putting good pressure. His, his block is with his hip and his thigh. You see is the, what I mean by block. I mean like my guard replacement has, I have to get through that barrier. So that's what he's choosing at this moment. Okay, he all, might add to that pot, just putting his left foot also with a good, nice pressure. You see that? Now look it. You, now, Nick just felt what he did. Go ahead and keep that on. Nick just felt it. He's like, oh yeah, that feels pretty good. Like he's got some pressure. But if I could get this space elevated, I might be able to get my left knee in there. And that would happen from a bridge. I might be able to get my knee in. See that? He might choose to jam his knee into my hip. So, and do the same thing. So he's not doing it with his thigh as much as, or his hip, as much as he's doing it with his knee, uh, maybe just the start of his thigh. Can you put it in my hip? Like, like it's kind of at my butt. Yeah. So sometimes he'll be up even a little higher, you'll get to the bone. This is all important, guys, to understand. Now he's at my hip bone. You, can you feel it? Yeah. Jam your knee into it. Yeah. So he can feel the hip bone. Sometimes you guys are gonna be down here at the butt. See how you moved up? Mm -hmm. Now. Now his left foot is, if he's on the mat, here's, here's a basic idea. If he's on the mat with this one, guys, like it is, it, it's not inherent, like just straight up terrible, but it should tell you on the bottom, man, he doesn't have a post. Now that in a moment's notice, this foot could stretch and post, but I have a great chance right now to take him off balance in this direction. So when go ahead and put a little pressure down, yeah, I like that. I just load and I go, you see the foot goes out, but now I'm ready. Now I put you in a perfect position now with your hands relaxed to just push this guy, push him. But I don't push him, I push myself. I push and my hips get away. Now once I get here, my hands, are forcing him downward towards my feet and my feet come off the ground. So my legs come, no, 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 you don't wanna move. You're coming back in to seal the space. And now as he does, with my knees off the ground, I'm forcing him this way. He's gonna be trying to come around the guard and he's gonna help spin me right into the guard. And again, that's what makes us get our, our nice guard recovery, okay? So we're teaching you like this, look. There's a, there's a couple things that if you guys see, my hand's always gonna catch that arm. I want, I want to drill like this. I want to drill like, nope, you're not on my head. He's not on my head. If he's not on my head, look at how far my left foot goes. Boom, see that? Boom, all the way up here, boom. And now I bridge, as I bridge, I'm on my shoulder, okay? He can be putting pressure if he likes. See that? Now I push, when I push, I hip escape or shrimp. He's coming back in and he spins me right into guard and it would be obviously fairly awesome if you could go right into a triangle choke and finish that thing. So let's pair up with our partner. Here's how we do it. He's on his back. Look at my point. I approach like this, knee, foot. 
I want this up. If this knee's down, I'm a little bit of a step behind. The only time, as a rule, I break the rules all the time, but as a rule, I teach you, this knee goes down when his elbow's out. So if his elbow's out, I love this knee like this, you know? This is great because now I've got his elbow out. His bridge to his right is taken away by his elbow being out. If this elbow is in, he can bridge and get all the weight onto shoulder. Just bridge and go to your shoulder. See that? See how powerful that is? If this is lifted like this and he tries to bridge, there's a lot of pressure that happens just by me doing this. That's why in every position here, see that? He can't bridge. Like when he tries to bridge to his right, go ahead. Like it's hard to get that weight going over there. If I were to give you your elbow in and hold here, he could bridge and turn all the way over to his side and that's what creates escape. So in the same way, I'm trying to show you how everything is, is uh, similar. So his elbow's in, he grabs here. He doesn't give me, so when I come for the neck, he's like, nope, can't get my neck. And then this one, just take your classical frame right here. Remember, don't put your frame here. See, like if his hand's here, this is dangerous for him. If for whatever reason, let's say I swoop, brought my hand back, he was trying to block my arm, but I brought it back and it, this hand's here, like that, it's in a bad spot. I'll step around and boom, as I drop around, look what's happened to his wrist, okay? And now his wrist is in a wrist lock and I just drive my chest forward and get the tap. So you always wanna make sure that your hand is in a nice, safe position. Young, flexible people don't care because they're flexible. But when, again, where I am nowadays, I've really gotta protect my, my, my joints. So he's strong right here. And then his elbows come in, but he's not pushing, but I still, I can't like smash him. If my knee's here, like this, he's looking where he's going, his head will pull away. Yeah, yeah, like that. Now he's ready, he loads the toes, and then he bridges and pops. No, 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 that's different. So let's do it again. This is the hard part. The hardest part for you guys when you go practice is gonna be, how do you bridge and not shrimp? Don't shrimp. Bridge or, yeah, like that. Now let's do that again, one more time. I want you to do it, but I want a force from you. I need, a, yeah, good. You're starting to figure it out. That one was better than the last. Now I'm gonna put a little weight and I just want, I want this shoulder to come to my hand right there. Ready? Oh, slow. No, no, yeah, don't, don't be fast. Be slow. I'd rather you be slow. Yeah, that's the force. Now let me push against this force. Hold it. Feel that? That's where you need to be, Nick. Ready to bench press? Shoot the hips out, go. Next, legs off the ground. No, 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 legs off the ground, not hips. Yes, now use the arms and spin right into the guard using your opponent's energy. And now he sees a nice opportunity, grab the wrist, and he might be able, yeah, no, no, just shoot it through. Yep, yeah, that's it, good job. Okay, this is challenging. We, 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 we have to master this though. This is the secret. Okay, let's go, one, two, three. Every time I teach this move, I get excited because I know that once a student learns it and understands it, they just, the light bulb goes off and then all of a sudden jujitsu is so cool to be uh, in a so-called bad position on the bottom because you take a bad position, side control, and you turn it into an amazing opportunity. So, hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time with more great stuff.